uh, I want to bring in Citadel Chief Economist Martin Ackerman uh, to give us more analysis on this figure. Martin, thanks indeed for your time. So negative 7%, that's the number uh, attached to our contraction we saw in this economy in 2020. I see in real terms, Martin, the economy expanding by 1.5% in the last three months of last year. One would think it's a significant improvement, particularly in manufacturing and construction. These figures could have been worse. What's your take? Yes, I think we need to see the, the figures in, in the bigger context. Uh, obviously, 2020 has been a terrible year. Um, you know, we haven't seen that annual decline in more than a century. I think the last time we saw similar numbers was around the 1920s. Um, and we need to remember that we went into this kind of decline already in recession. So COVID just made it worse. Uh, and then in the second half, definitely, as the numbers today indicate, the, the rebound that's starting to play out. The question in my mind is, you know, uh, this rebound is obviously from a very low base. Uh, so we need to take that into consideration. But, you know, uh, how sustainable is this? And uh, how long can we see these kind of numbers continuing? Because in the background, the structural issues that prevented us growing uh, before COVID, mm -hmm. that's unfortunately still on the table. I want to talk about that broader structural issue that we have with this economy, but let's just stick with the months ahead. What happens with this economy's growth largely depends, I would imagine, on the progress of a few things. Number one, the progress of the vaccine rollout and how severe this expected third wave will be. So we've got some caution, I would imagine, in the next few months. Definitely. I think, you know, the number we saw today, um, you know, we had almost no load sharing in the last quarter of 2020. Yes, we went back into a kind of lockdown, but that was only the last two weeks of, of the specific quarter that we're talking about today. So going into this new year, 2021, we had already load shedding. We had quite a bit of restrictions in terms of further lockdowns. And as you said, you know, there is a third wave and depending how bad it might be, uh, we might see some restrictions again in the economy. So I don't think we're out of the woods yet. And also what I think is a vaccine, even if we get up tomorrow and everybody's got a vaccine, um, you know, that's not going to remove the structural issues that we've been dealing with in any case. Mm -hmm. So, yes, this year we're likely to see some good growth, uh, as the Minister of Finance also suggested in the, in the, in the budget uh, last week. But, you know, again, it is from that low base. And we shouldn't get too excited because that number is likely to fall lower again in the years to come unless we see the reform that's urgently needed being implemented uh, ASAP. And I want to pick up there finally before I let you go, Martin, because that structural reform, be it our electricity supply issues that investors want to see sorted out, whether it's our relationship between companies and workers, uh, you know, you also have policy issues around the security of assets, uh, the spectrum is another one of them. Even before COVID-19, we had such a difficult, enormous task neutralizing those. So I would imagine that, you know, uh, these stakeholders have a lot in their hands or on their hands uh, to make sure we have the sustainability you talk about. Yes, yeah, I think, you know, um, the the progress pre-COVID has been quite slow, and I think a lot of people, especially in business, expected more to happen more quickly. Um, then COVID, we thought that uh, a lot of those will be fast-tracked. Um, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things happening on the ground. I think there is already a lot of reform in the pipeline. There's things that we are talking about and doing that we haven't spoken about or actually touched on two, three years uh, back. Um, but the important thing is, and that's why I say we shouldn't get too excited, this year we're going to see a really good year, but it is going to be a base effect. It's not because we address the structural issues. And all the structural issues that's currently in the pipeline, uh, and that's taking a little bit longer for various reasons. It's um, policy uncertainty, and they need to get on the same page in terms of the policy. It might also be political gridlock or political muscle to pursue some of these. But whatever is happening on the ground, gr ground right now, you're not going to see in the next quarter or two. We're probably only going to see that in the numbers in, in years to follow because it is long-term kind of changes that we are making. But I still think we are moving in the right direction. Um, but we only will see those numbers uh, in, in years to come. I think just quickly back to the budget, even the minister himself uh, saw growth moving back to only 1.6%.
three years from now. And I think that is the number that we want to see above three percent on a sustainable basis to really address issues like our very high unemployment. Yeah.